Hi, Mike Corrado here. I teach drum set at Gale Music in River City, California. And we started something new called the Vintage Drum Road Show. And so I brought three of my snare drums down. I'm just going to talk about each one real quick, just to get a taste of what they are. This first one here is 1920s, maybe 28 to 32, give or take. It's a Slingerland Artist Model Tone Flange in Rosemarine Pearl or rose pearl probably and um, it's solid maple shell and it's called a tone flange because there's a thing underneath the top head that we call it the hubcap it's like a metal funnel that goes under there it's supposed to at the time they said it channels the sound and all that there's a lot more to explain on that but for now I'm just showing you that this is a 20s Slingerland Artist Model Tone Flange in Rose Pearl. All right, the next drum is a 1929 Ludwig New Era. And you can see the engraving right here. It says New Era. Uh, in 1929, Ludwig came out with four new models. A Super Sensitive, a Standard Sensitive, a Super Power, and this model, which is called the New Era. And the unique thing about this is there's two mechanisms, but they're internal. This mechanism has snare wires under the top head, and this mechanism has snare wires on top of the bottom head. It might be a little hard to see with the lighting, but I'll see if I can cast the shadow here. You can probably, maybe not. If not, take my word for it. There, you can see the wires under the bottom, and there's also, it's hard to see, and there's wires on the top here. It was only around for about a year. Um, just that 1929 Ludwig sold the company to CG Con and then the great stock market hassle. So these uh, models are pretty rare. Uh, it wasn't a big seller. And this uh, finish is called Peacock Pearl. All right, the third drum here is a 1928, maybe 1928 to 32 uh, Slingerland Black Beauty. Uh, we know as collectors uh, a black engraved shell is usually called a Black Beauty, but actually Slingerland came out with the name Black Beauty first. And this is a heavy brass shell. The hardware is <coughs> copper plated and then gold lacquered, not uh, gold plated, but like a gold amber lacquer. Uh, these are extremely rare. Uh, there's only about 15 of these known at the moment in this size, which is 5 by 14. And they um, all the hardware is brass. Some some steel parts here and there, like the tension rods are steel, but the rest are uh, copper over brass. And the shell is uh, also brass. And like I said, they they made they weren't as popular as the Ludwig Black Beauties or the Ludwig Deluxes of that era. Uh, so they're extremely rare nowadays. Again, this being one of maybe 15 or 16 known at the moment. Well, thanks for watching, and if you want more information, you can always get on to Gelb's uh, list, gelbmusic.com. Uh, I'm on there, too. You can always correspond with me if you have questions, and we'll probably do this, we're hoping, maybe once a month. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm.